Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Three Bands and it's time to talk about the 1984 Adidas patent pending forum from Jacques Chassin. But first, let's take a little bit closer look at them. That's right, From Soul to Soul, written by Jason Coles, The Stories in the Shoes of Jacques Chassin. This is the book right here. That's the cover of it. What a beautiful book, right? What I love about this book is that it's just chock full. I mean, whether you're in the running, whether you're in the tennis, whether you're in the basketball, football, it doesn't matter. There's something in here for you. And there's so many shoes I didn't even know about that Jacques created. It's just so hard to find it. Even You can scour the internet all day long and you're never going to get these stories. One of those stories, again, is this 1984 Adidas patent pending. Man, what a gorgeous shoe this is. Just an insane pair of shoes. Before I get into that, I want to show you this Shinzo pair back here, which I thought was really cool because when Jacques signed this, he said, never forget the origins. And that was just a cue to the book. And now that I've read the book, I totally get it. But on there, the Shinzo special releases, that's what they have on there too. It says, never forget the origins and of course uh Jacques had uh this was the inspiration Jacques was the inspiration behind this shoes just a gorgeous pair of shoes and behind me you see a lot of the other uh, pairs of shoes like the bodegas man look up the history on the bodega as far as it goes from Boston you know Detroit New York so many of the other cities but for for sure in Boston they have just such a, a really cool history but getting into the patent pending forum, uh, this is the book. I'll just kind of go through it a little bit. Uh, again, really excited to share it with you. I'm not going to share everything with you. I'm just going to kind of cover a little bit about it. That way you can go get the book and you can get some of these stories firsthand. That's a little bit about the forum. Yeah, I know that you can get out there and you can find out that the whole idea behind the forum was for the 1984 Olympics, uh, they needed to make a shoe. And Jacques Chassin was part of that with Adidas. And at the time, you know, they had the top 10 and they had the Concorde and he just went after trying to figure out how am I going to make the best shoe possible. Uh, kind of like Adi Dassler did, that whole philosophy behind it. So he went and talked to all the players and you know this is kind of what they ended up coming up with. Uh, just an absolutely phenomenal shoe. But the really neat thing about it is it wasn't even called the Adidas form at first. But if you want to know that then you gotta buy the book, right? But it goes into so much of the rich history about it. All these different pages like the top 10 giving credit to where it came from. You can kind of see some similarities. Of course, this is a high top shoe and the Concord did have somewhat of a strap system on it, but they're just totally different from this particular shoe. Going into this page, oh yeah, Peter Moore. Uh, RIP to Peter, he recently passed away. Uh, really, really sad. He's such a sneaker icon and a legend. And we definitely, I know I personally and so many other people out there uh, would have really loved a book on him. But you know, I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to pull enough stuff, uh, archival footage and archival interviews so we can put something together for it. Uh, but you know, the Jordan one, as you know, is his creation. And talking about the forum in the 1984 Olympics, of course, that's what Jordan wore. He was in love with the Adidas form. He wore it all the time. Uh, the only time he didn't is when he couldn't because of his coaches. Now, when uh, Peter Moore was with Nike, uh, you know, they wanted to sign Jordan. Uh, Jordan wanted to be with Adidas. <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of stories out there saying that Adidas didn't, sign, didn't want to sign Jordan because he was uh, not tall enough, you know, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, if you look in the book, one of the uh, few nuggets of information that I really liked was he talked about when Peter went over and worked with Adidas with Jacques is that he's like you know dude what what's the deal why didn't y'all sign Michael Jordan he said you know well, why would we at the time we had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar the biggest basketball star in the world why would we need Michael Jordan and you know the rest is history at that time you know Nike was looking for that next big player and they were looking to create a basketball legacy so that's where they came from. So, the, you know, the rest is history. But, the you know, the neat thing about it is that if you look at the Jordan 1 and you look at the form, you're going to see so many similarities. Uh, it's just a beautiful thing that it was inspired 
by the forum. Uh, the technology crossed over into all the silhouettes today. If you're wearing a basketball shoe, uh, you're, you're probably wearing a variation of one of these sneaker legends. Just uh, a really, really cool. There's so much technology on this shoe. I, I mean, I could do a video just on the technology from this X strap system to the cross hatch right here and how all these things served a purpose. You know, it's really cool when you grit these and if you're able to put these originals next to a pair of the Jordan 1s, you can see the similarities, but not only that, you can see that this shoe, it was $100 at the time, so it was super expensive. You can see why it was $100. Uh, it was just really a purpose-built shoe. Uh, but, you know, moving on from that, this talks about the story. Now, he won't credit New York to being the inspiration of where the forum came from, but the cool story is that when he was in Chicago, he had to go for a sales meeting. He wanted to do a stopover in New York to discuss with the coach, you know, how he could create this better basketball shoe. Well, this huge blizzard, right, comes in, and he's stuck at the airport, and, you know, people are hungry. They're fighting. He happened to have uh, vouchers from Air France. It was just craziness, right? The next day, he was able to get a hotel room. Air France provided him that. So he was able to stay downtown in New York. And this picture is uh, Manhattan. You can see them skiing down uh, Fifth, Fifth Avenue, I believe. That's really crazy. Again, it's just really neat that that happened. Uh, you know, maybe it wasn't born in New York, but he definitely gives credit to a lot of the inspiration coming from having that time to reflect. And when he was catching a cab back to the airport, you know, that was so expensive that he had to just share, share a cab with a bunch of students, which I just thought was really cool. Uh, in here, then it has the Jeremy Scott and the, you know, the $100 bill. The whole, the whole point of this, this is a super rare pair of shoes. I would love to have these shoes. It had the $100 bill on there because, again, of that price point. Now, when you think about, again, I talked about the bodegas. Uh, you know, the Adidas Forum is synonymous with just sneaker and hip-hop culture. It became more than just a basketball shoe. And the reason why is, and I'll just kind of share personally with you real quick before I get out of here, is that, you know, um, I'm not a basketball player by no means uh, but at the same time I do especially when I was growing up I you know I had a little job and I like to work hard and when I was able to get a pair of shoes that I could afford and put it on you know I felt good about myself uh, I felt good about being able to work towards something that I wanted and what I really really loved and I gravitated to was it was something that was within my grasp so things that were, were, were within my grasp but I kind of had to save up for that's why things become special that's why they become sought after anything that people want unfortunately there's going to be some negativity around it but the positivity around it is that people want to feel good in their own skin and i think that's just a huge part of where hip-hop comes from it's a, a, a pop culture from art culture you name it it comes from it so just a really, really, I just, I just really do love that story. But anyway, uh, really excited to share this book with you about the forum. Again, we got lots more coming up, uh, but this is just one of the stories. Again, not going to make this super long, going to shut it down. But, you know, as always, I gravitate to anything as, with a story. Don't follow the hype and always collect what you love. This is Three Bands and I'm out. Peace.